1246 was the time that the latest eruption in the Swartzing volcanic system started in the Reckonish Peninsula of the Iceland in the mid-Atlantic reach. We had a spike in the tremors. As you can see here, the tremors chart showed that the magma is rising, the purple line, and also the earthquakes associated with it. It's like a ketchup shaking and making the ketchup uh, run, flow toward your sandwich. In this case, we have a big bang and uh, the eruption was uh, started in this way. First the uh, smoke, then the uh, eruption. The crack or the fissure in the geological term that opened in this way extended in a short time to one kilometer, then 3.4 kilometers. Magma was oozing out, uh, fountaining. Remember, it was 20 million cubic meters, 60 megatons of the magma. Basaltic magma, very hot, very runny. And it erupted in this way. You see another extension of it here. Orange smoke rising, that's the earth, that's the ground, you see that, practically pulverizing the earth and opening its way. The lava flow is intense. So far we can say that is 1,000 uh, cubic meters per second, sometimes 3,000. You can see a fountain of it coming actually. And then it spread toward the south, toward the Grindavik, and toward the north, toward the road of the Swartzengi uh, power plant. You can see it here, we are zooming on it. I will show you a better image of the uh, south part that actually goes toward the uh, Grindavik. And you can see that the height of it is, to my estimate, is uh, 200 meters, because we know the K1 crater was around 40 meters when it actually collapsed. This fissure sliced through it, and the, uh, the estimate is now 200 meters, in my estimate. And these are the images. You can see the uh, Icelandic Coast Guard flying immediately over the area, just giving us an estimate of the length and the, uh, the extent of the eruption. You can see we had a lot of a storm, rainstorm in the past, and that's the reason you see a lot of water vapor rising from the ground. This was my first uh, map of this. Then the Icelandic Meteorological Office published this map, 3.4 kilometers long, as you can see in the previous almost uh, uh, um, uh, eruption line, uh, the gas... The gas pollution and including also the water vapor extending toward the east. That's the direction from the west to east. The wind is blowing. Latest, the risk assessment shows that the central area is no-go zone and the surrounding areas, uh, the risk of the uh, you know, pollution. We can see the huge ash uh, and uh, pollution cloud. This is the update that I was... Uh, practically showed you this is text written of course here is written 1000 cubic meters um i said the meteorological office uh, was wrong in this it's a typo i've corrected it and written there then later they corrected it also in the latest update and this is the green the west of the green Dubuque is now invaded by the lava we have a u.s navy telecommunication uh, points there and uh, the defensive wall is holding back the uh, lava, which has flown fast to that area, as you can see here. And uh, the town of the Green Dubuque, at the moment, behind this wall is safe. But the gas pollution is extensive, so I, I suppose that everybody has left. Uh, 4,000 people uh, originally, and it was later reduced to 300 people, mostly workers who worked in the companies, and a few you know, farmers. They, they must have left now. And the flow of the uh, lava is one and a half to 2,000 meters per second, maybe a little bit more or less.